Today we're on a courage retreat with 7th graders and the goal for them is to have one day where they, at the end of the day, commit to one thing, an act of courage that makes their school a better place and them a better person. How we get there is kind of a fun and unique way. We, we play some games with them to warm them up to each other and to us and to the idea that we're having to present today. We danced a lot just to get everyone hyped up about everything. We did a lot of fun games together. Then we went into small groups and they try to do it with kids that you really didn't know. Now we are going to start with silly human tricks. Mine is I can curl my tongue like this. On our retreats in general, we're using high school leaders to help facilitate groups. There's about 27 of them. And so they're here just to give their time to these seventh graders. And then of course their main job is to spend time in small groups, getting kids to talk to each other and also sharing their own wisdom and experience that they've had and gone through in life. We talked about like what you are afraid of and like some of the things were like things like going up to a person and trying to be friends with them. We really didn't know about other kids and how they felt. You kind of always just thought about yourself. Middle school, it's a hard time. Kids are just trying to figure out who they are and where they fit. And for them to have a chance to come together to talk about you know, the fears that they face, putting them kind of on equal setting, equal ground, for them helps them put them in a place where they're realizing, hey, I'm not the only one who's afraid of where I need to sit in the lunchroom. And maybe if I know that, maybe it's not such a big deal. People opened up and showed a totally different personality when they were at the Courage Retreat because I think they just felt open because it was that kind of atmosphere. This is the power of our, our retreat, is kids connecting with each other because they're not in there with their, their best friend. And so if they're connecting with kids they didn't really know, we're building some, some connections, some friendships that just improve the school community. At the end of the day, they get a chance to write down actually what their act of courage is and what they're going to work on in their life. Mine was to uh, go and introduce myself to kids that I really don't know because I know it's kind of hard for kids to make friends. And I just want to be there for others. These moments help create connection with kids, which out of this retreat, we're going to see the reduction of those bullying because of connection and relationship with each other. I can even tell that it has been making a difference. Kids have been like dropping their books, and I can just see all these some kids just rushing to them and helping them, and then like kids I don't see hanging out with each other start hanging out. There's this one kid who doesn't have that many friends and he always gets made fun of so we were going to go sit by him at the table and we did that and he smiled and he, I think he had a really good fun time. Some of the people that are really shy are a lot more talkative now and some of the people that maybe were being made fun of before are actually like welcomed into groups and stuff and I think the Courage Retreat really helped out because we talked about those and we tried to like make ways so that those could be easier for kids to do.